Liberty hit the court Tuesday looking for its first win over Parkland since 2012. Assistant coach Jordan Young leading the team in the absence of second year head coach Jarrett Carnes. Parkland and fifth year head honcho Ed Olson focused on spreading the floor and utilizing their depth. The home team jumping out to an early 7-2 lead. Alexis Brader sinking her first of two threes in the half here. Liberty gets buckets from three different scorers in the first. Freshman Ava Kapetsky cutting the deficit to three with the reverse layup though the Trojans led by eight after the first. They increase the advantage to 12 early in the second before Ruby Miller sinks a jumper just inside the arc. Talia Zarinskis nets seven in the first quarter, adds five more in the second to put her team in front by 13 at the half. Shots just not falling for the Hurricanes as Parkland continued to pull away in the third. Maddie Siggins chipping in four points in the quarter to make it a 31-13 game. Liberty did score the final six of the frame, but still trailed by 15. Zarinskis opened the fourth quarter with her third three-pointer of the contest, up to 18 in five games played. The Trojans converting better than 50% on three balls as a team this season. Talia finishes with a game-high 17 points, while Siggins adds a double-double with 11 points and 13 rebounds. Defensively, Liberty holds Parkland to its lowest offensive output of the season and hit a couple of late threes themselves. Jordan Thompson and Kapetsky converting, but as a team, they shot just 24% from the field overall. The Trojans had the upper hand in this one all night long. 41 to 27 is the final as Parkland improves to 5 and 0 this season. Liberty now 4 and 3. On the scene at Parkland High School, I'm Christy Fulkerson for the Service Electric Network.